These people came back the next day, the next evening with about 200 other people. Caused about $105,000 worth of damage to this little two bedroom, two and a half bedroom cabin. There's way too many folks out there who have a false security through Airbnb's air cover. It's great that it's there, but it's not really insurance. They canceled the booking. Airbnb only covers you when the property is a booking. So give us an idea of, of some of the unusual things that would be covered. Like, you know, we love stories, examples, <laughs> you know, just like the commercial on, who is it that does the commercial? State Farm. State Farm. Yeah. <laughs> so, give us an example of some of the unusual things. Yeah. I mean, we, we see and hear about a lot of crazy stuff at vacation rentals. Um, bed bugs is one that comes up far too often. And we're one of the only companies, we're the first company to actually come out with bed bug coverage um, for property remediation as well as liability. And then some of our competitors have, you know, duplicated, of course, but we were first to market. Um, so that's that's one that, that comes up that's on on kind <laughs> you don't want that in your property um, <laughs> one of the craziest stories i have from one of my actual clients here is uh, a small cabin in washington state two bedroom cabin um, the gentleman who was our insured uh, craftsman built like he built this thing by hand um, wow. he builds custom furniture and cabinetry so everything in this house this little cabin of his was just you know to the to the nines if you will for woodwork and he had some guests show up on a Friday night and his neighbor called him and said they were getting kind of loud. And so he went through the process with Airbnb to cancel the reservation and get them kicked out, um, which Airbnb did. But then these people came back the next day, the next evening with about 200 other people and oh caused about $105,000 worth of damage to this little two bedroom, two and a half bedroom cabin. Oh, wow. um, there's a couple of things with that. Number one, there's way too many folks out there who have a false security through Airbnb's air cover. It's great that it's there, but it's not really insurance. Um, they canceled the booking. Airbnb only covers you when the property is a booking. So oh, wow. that was no, no help from Airbnb there because of that term. Um, additionally, we have something called property entrustment, which is a common exclusion in insurance policies, just like, uh, just like the business activity exclusion so this more or less fell under the definition of guest cause damage um, did they break in yes could there be an argument against the other insurance contracts out there that uh, this was forced entry to a certain extent but there's this gray area with the airbnb booking happening and then kind of knowing who the owner is through that um, and and that's where everybody hates insurance companies because i'm sure they would have found a way to deny that but that's where we come in and, you know, I wish we could be like State Farm flying in with our cape. Yay! <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, $105,000 in damage and that included wow. loss of income as well because you obviously can't rent out the property while you're going through that, that big, huge repair. Um, some of the other stuff that we've seen that isn't necessarily odd or crazy, well, there was one really odd one. Um, <laughs> So pet friendly properties are very popular um, and a lot of guests out there will kind of, um, you know, subdue the pet or the size of the pet that they're bringing to the property. And in this particular case, what ended up happening was the guests brought three pigs to the home and uh, didn't take them outside. And so they made a huge mess inside the home for the four or five days they stayed there. Um, that was probably one of the oddest ones for sure. I think <laughs> um, that is on that. so many questions. So many questions. Yeah. Yeah. One, like, did you fly with the pigs or did you drive with them? Like, what did you, you car look like? Have, yeah. Like one pig might be like, okay, whatever, like a pet pig, but three of them is kind of, yeah. <laughs> you know, you just have to wonder about people, <laughs> you know, it was funny, uh, cause you reminded me, I was in the airport last night and one of the police dogs, the sniffing dog was making a beeline for the people that were getting off of my plane. I was waiting for a friend of mine to get off and the 
the officer is holding the dog back as it's making a beeline. Now, it didn't stop at the people. It went right to the door that says pet relief area. So <laughs> it knew where to go. <laughs> and it said, it's time for me to get the heck out of here. Not so much with the pig. <laughs>